Both Mamma Lady Sundowns and Chippy United played in cup competition on a full ride day. Chippy United played first against the first division side, the University of Pretoria. They lost by two goals to nil to bow out of the competition. Mamma Lady Sundowns went down to Kuzula Natal. They played at the Princess Magogo Stadium against the, the log leaders in the Glad Africa Championship. They won by four goals to nil, three of those goals coming in the second half. What is Kurt Lenke's going to bring to the Loftus Fersfeld Stadium as he shifts across from one part of the city of Tuani to the other? And brings Chippy United into play as we return to the DSTV Premiership and away for Nedbank Cup action for the moment. And the reason for that is because of Mamelody Sundown's participation in the Cup Champions League this coming weekend. Hannibal fires one across the face of Kennedy and his goal. It didn't get uh, closer than the six yard box. But I do love the way that Chippy United are organized tonight. I do love that Rashid Watenga, the Ugandan goalkeeper, is back in the starting lineup. There's a little touch from Bienvenu. Eva and Gar, and that didn't miss the target by much. And Eva and Gar is a little bit upset that he didn't get the decision from the assistant referee for a corner. This is a good effort from Chipper. It is a good effort indeed. Um, and they need to bring back more of those crosses, you know. Evan Gar being free in the box, not tightly marked by Mamelodi Sundowns, and that's what you need. You need those balls inside the box because he's a big boy. His presence is always going to be felt. So Chipper needs to go more wide and bring down those crosses. It's a good start for Chipper United. They beat Sekakuni, the Gat Africa Championship yeah. champions, by a goal to nil. Now, oh, it's a little bit wild and over the top of the ball from Sipisekliam Kize. Referee's having a close look at this. We've been exposed to so much football now in general. We've seen such fouls being given. Oh, that's that's and the, and one thing about the referee was he was just close by. His angle was proper. So it'll be interesting to see. Oh, he'll be lucky if he stays on. Yeah, no, it's a little bit uh, on the hectic side. Just over halfway through the first half, a quarter of a way through the match. Red card out of the picture. You can't see it, but there's the red card directly from Pilangin Korsi Mokumalo. And the big fella in the holding midfield, Sibisekle Nkise, who turned, as we said, 23 on Saturday. Rivaldo can see her again. Remember that Sundown's very patient here. It's going to be interesting to find out what happens in the halftime chat, because it is after the halftime chat against Richard Spey that Sundowns came out and scored three goals. And now reply to add to the Rolani goal in the first half. Good play here, and keeper's got to commit himself an opportunity for a shot. It barrels away into the back of the net, and Johnny opens the scoring. First goal of the season for the captain. Took a knock in the face earlier on, but ball bobbling around inside that penalty area. Nandine Jali suddenly finds the back of the net. The celebration, the happiness, the joy being shared by Shalulile and company. 17 league appearances, one goal. And it's an important one, but playing out with a nod of the head. Zwani just missed his first touch. Kutumela, wide. I think you, 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 you're 100% right, uh, Kevin. I think with, uh, with Mamri Sandans, I think the philosophy it's more important than any player. Michael McQueen had recently signed from Super Sports United, his second match for Mamelody Sundowns, played off the bench. It's Serino, it's a very top effort. Shalulile, Shalulile again! Great save from Wachenga. Beautiful football from Sundowns. We spoke about taking a shot. Look at Serino, look at the distance where he was, the confidence that he has that you spoke about earlier. Forcing Wotenga to make a save, I think the double save from Wotenga, you can't take away anything away from that. But you're expecting Peter Shalulili as well. But gets that second chance, you know, he's falling there. To make sure that at least to pick a spot, you know, force the goalkeeper, especially on the side. But you know, Wotenga making a great save. You can see Shalulili there, very disappointed with himself. But Hannah Mook, with a little bit of space. The keeper thought about coming off his line there momentarily. Space for the Tuli. Somehow. Kennedy win his legs to save the day for Sundowns. That, was the, that had a goal written all over it. Fantastic counter-attack from Chippy United. And if you were in the commentary box, you'd see Chippy Medice holding his head <laughs> in his hands. Sundowns lead by a goal to nil. Only by a goal to nil, having played for three quarters of the match against a ten-man opposition. On the side that are battling the relegation struggle in the uh, Premier League. Really top performance from Chipper. 
Or deflection goal, second deflection of the match. This time it's well struck by Tabocha Mokwena. And we were discussing why Tabocha Mokwena was signed by Sundowns, not only as a midfielder who can hold, who can distribute, but can score goals. That's wise at Sundowns. That's wise on the score sheet. It has been a match that Mamelodi Sundowns, well, I think, reflect upon for a while. And certainly, Chippy United, I think, even though losing by two goals to nil in successive matches in 2022 against sides from Chwani, will be much happier with the performance today than they were against the University of Pretoria Tux, particularly because they were playing with ten players. Sundowns consolidate their place at the top of the table as they win tonight by two goals to nil. Game just swung at 25 minutes after the red card. Obviously, throws every plan that you can think of out of the out of what we wanted to do. But okay, what can we do? I can't ask for more than what the boys have given. Very proud of them. Obviously, the result is not what we wanted. Um, but okay, yeah, on to the next one. So many opportunities. You came really close. You were always a threat. It looked like your goal. It never came, but it really looked like it was coming. Yeah, no, it was coming. I mean, um, we knew how to attack, um, and the boys did everything that was asked from from them. Even when we were playing with ten men, um, just shows the characteristics and how strong we are. Um, but I'm excited for the boys. I'm excited for the next twelve games. I mean, they should keep their heads up. I'm proud of them. I couldn't have asked for more. And yeah, next game at home. So let's see how it goes. The determination, uh, a man down, you know, uh, very early in the game, but that determination, the hunger displayed throughout the game. Yeah, throughout the game. I mean, like I said, um, I told the guys, you know what, leave everything on the field. Um, we're not in control of results, but um, what we can control is the attitude. So we dedicate our work to God and everything that we do is to give him glory. So you could see that that's why 10 men down, I mean 10 men on the field of play, uh, they'll still give everything. So like I said, I can't ask for more than that. Of course, let me bring in the coach of now at Mamlodi Sundown CSM, Rolando Mukwena. Coach, appreciate your time. Thoughts, please? Yeah, well, we knew it was going to be difficult, but maybe not this difficult. Uh, uh, congratulations to, to the team, everyone involved at the club for the win. Uh, but I would think that I think ever since I've, I've been here, maybe not. This is probably not one of the best performances from us. Why? Well, the personality of the team was something that we couldn't recognize. Tactically, we were okay, but we struggled to to find the extra man and the free man. And uh, you can't do that when you're rushing. And sometimes we rush to the play. We want to always try to provoke the next line to defend us and and or to defend the ball. But we couldn't get that today. Or maybe also because of the, the, the defensive organization and the discipline of Chipper, and you've got to give them credit for that. We knew how difficult they are. Uh, we spoke about their physicality, and you, sh you saw they fight in the jewels. We spoke about uh, Evanga and, and his speed in relation to, to transitions, and you could see some of the chances. But yeah, we gave a lot of opportunities away and uh, we don't want to be a team that gives the opponents a lot of chances, but we did that today and, and, and it had to do with how we used the ball and how we structured ourselves when we were in possession. It reads though, after 90 minutes, Mamlodi Sundowns 2 and they clean sheet. Yeah, well then, the, the, that's probably the most important thing in football. However, uh, as technicians and as coaches, we can't sell results. We don't have that, uh, that power. Ours is to is to ensure that the performance is good enough to, to be able to win football matches. And sometimes, even when the performance is good enough to win the football match, you don't win. But sometimes when you win and, and, and the, the performance is not good enough, you still have to analyze the performance because uh, we are people of process. It's a long season, a very, very long season. Playing for the result is not going to help us sustain uh, the success and achieve the, the targets that we want. So we cannot be caught up too much on, on, on the results. Yes, good. Three points, two goals, a clean sheet. Congratulations to the boys for, for getting the job done. But the reality is uh, it is very clear after today's performance that we've still got a lot of work to do and, and, and a lot of things to improve. The work continues though, coach. On Friday, you go again in CAF. Yeah, 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 big one, big one. But that's why we try to rotate. We try to rotate today the fullbacks. <laughs> 
we tried to rotate uh, the midfield a little bit with uh, Tebza, he came on and he scored and um, very good for him and we are very happy with that. But yeah, we, we just go game by game, step by step. Uh, it's a very difficult uh, schedule, but uh, that's what champions do. Champions uh, engage, champions face their challenges head on and, and work towards making sure that uh, the performances are at a level where we can win football matches and even the most difficult of football matches. And, and that's what we have to do, not to fixate it with, with the results, but of course they are important and we are in the business of results. We are in the business to win football matches, but at, at big clubs, how you win a football match matters.